Before you buy your next gaming headset, watch this video and avoid what's happened to me. As you can see, I have quite a few Xbox headsets, but the problem is that none of the ones you see here are working. None of these are particularly expensive, but it still adds up every time I need to buy a new one. And the common problem they all have is a shorted out cable. What causes this is the constant flexing of the cord at the base of the plug when playing. And it doesn't take much for the tiny wires in the cord to eventually break. To me it's very difficult to fix and it's not worth the time because the wires are about as thin as a strand of hair. So that's what causes the broken headset, but it's not really broken at all. It's just the cord. So instead of buying official gaming headsets, I now use my regular audio headphones with a plug-in boom mic on the Xbox. The first set of headphones I try this out on is with the Beats Studio 2. They're definitely expensive, but I already own these, and the boom mic that I'm using is from Loving Star. I just have to plug it in and it works. And in case you were wondering, the mic on the official Beats cable doesn't work on the Xbox. And because I have multiple Xboxes, I also use the boom mic on a pair of Sony headphones. I had these lying around as well, but I needed another headset, so the Sony was perfect for the second headset. The Beats and Sony headphones definitely have great sound quality, but you don't need expensive headphones to use a boom mic. Here I'm using a pair of these nice sounding $30 headphones from King Yu, and these actually have become the primary headset on one of my Xboxes. This Love & Star boom mic should last quite a while because it has a 90 degree connector, plus it has a reinforced spring to soften any bending. On the cord it also has a volume knob and mute switch. And the best thing is that if the cable ever breaks, I can just replace it and continue to use my headphones. If you're a PlayStation owner, you can also use this boom mic for gaming also. And right now the only thing I can do with my old headsets is trash them, which is kind of a waste. So I hope this video helps open the options for you when you have a broken headset. At this point, I'll probably never buy another real gaming headset unless it's for a review video. If you enjoyed watching this, please hit the thumbs up for me and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.